Shalom, o Presidente Yahal Pashim Yahshai, Pashim Kakutash, Tolan Santi Yahweh Sopos, O Shalom, Sia Sinsi Akim, the hopeful elect, the true believers of Yahal Pashim Yahshai, amending your ways before the great dreadful day of the Lord, keeping intact the sound doctrine as we have received it through the spirit and power of Yahal Pashim Yahshai, through the men that he has set up. Okay, not going astray. This is the book of Malachi 2 and 10. Because uh, we all have by one father, the Israelites. Okay, the scripture in Malachi 2 and 10 does not apply to the entire uh, planet, to all nations that are upon the face of the earth. This is a Malachi 2 and 10. It says, uh, Have we not all one father? Have not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother? And by profaning the covenant of our father so the entire planet the, all the nations never made a covenant okay they've never entered in no in no covenant so how the hell can they profane in what 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 a covenant will they be profaning none okay only the israelites so-called negroes latinos and native americans who descendants are defy uh uh what uh our uh, profaning the covenant until this day due to the curses as we have disobeyed the weight of the, the words and the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 and down these are the curses the punishment for this for for what for for for, 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 for being disobedient okay for, for profaning the covenant of our forefathers our fathers who are who Abraham Abraham Isaac and Jacob to the sons of Jacob, the 12 sons who became the entire nation of Israel, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, the children of the promise. Okay, that's who we are. This is who we is referring to. This says Malachi 2 and 10 says, Have we not one Father? We have not one God created us? See, He made us for what? For His sake. Let's get this in Deuteronomy. Okay, chapter 7. He made one father, he made us. We have one father that made us the Israelites. How did he make us? There's a Deuteronomy 7. Verse, verse 7. Verse 6 says, For thou art an old people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He made, he made us for his sake. Okay, he made us for his sake. Okay, not you nations. You're not special, you're not peculiar. You could not profane the covenant because you were not part of the covenant. You never entered into an oath, into a covenant with the Heavenly Father. Only the Israelites discuss the Skedah's book of Psalms. All right, let's get Psalms real quick. So the book of Psalms 50 and 5. You could not possibly what uh, profane the profane the covenant. You never entered into a covenant. This is the Psalms 15 and 5 says, it says, I gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a sacrifice. It says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Okay. By sacrifice, who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay, the Israelites who entered into an oath into a covenant of the Heavenly Father. Not you nations. This is a book of Psalm Isaiah 63 17. So Isaiah 63. All right. Verse 18 says, The people of thy holiness have possessed it, but a while our, our, our adversaries have trodden down thy century. It says, We are thine, and thou bearest full of. It says, we are thine, thou never bearest fool over them, and they were never called by their name. So how the hell can you possibly, you nations, ever break the covenant? Okay, profane the covenant. Meanwhile, you were never called by the name of, not by the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahab Hashem Yashad. Okay, and he never ruled, he never bear any form of rule over you. That's why he lets you do whatever you do. And you go, it seems like you're going unpunished, but the most high is letting all of you, your sins to pile up. Okay, till, till all will be fulfilled, till there till be no more remedy. But us, Israelites, we are judged bit by bit. Because well, he's bearing rule over us. That's why we get chastised. In fact, Amos. 
let's get this as Book of Amos. Ah, oh, the third chapter. Let's go to that. It's a Book of Amos, chapter 3. Ah, oh, it's Amos 3. Verse 1 says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have unknown of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Oh, that's why it says in the book of Malachi. Let's go back to the book of Malachi. Oh, this is the book of Malachi 2 and 10. Now oh, this is the Malachi chapter 2. Verse 10 says, We have says, Have we not all one father? Have not one power created us? All right. It says, Why do we deal treacherously every man against his father, profaning the covenant of our fathers? All right. The fathers of the promise who, are, who was through the lineage of our of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Let's get Matthew 6. Okay, it's uh, Matthew 6. In the Lord's Prayer. We have one Father. Have we not one, one power? Okay, this is who He is. And who, who is He for? This is uh, Matthew 6 and 9. It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father. It says, who Our Father. Malachi 2 and 10 it says, Have we not one Father? So, what do these uh, the Israelites who have one father supposed to be doing? We're supposed to do this praise and says Matthew six and nine says this after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Isaiah sixty three, we just read that says well says they are never called by thy name. So how the hell can you possibly pray unto the heavenly father you nations? How can how the hell can the heavenly father ever hear your praise and your cries? It is impossible. It does not work like that. Matthew 6 and 9, after this man, and therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It says, thy kingdom come, okay, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay, this is the Lord's prayer, the other one, Palav. Okay. Abanawa Shabbat Shamayam. This is the other one, Palab, the, 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 the Lord's Prayer. Okay. And you cannot pray this prayer unless you are, you are an Israelite. We have one Father. This is Acts 17 and 26. Okay. Because all you dumb morons are going to say, look, we have one flow, we, we, we all got the same blood, we got the same blood, but guess what, the boundaries have been set. Okay, Malachi 2 and 10 has nothing to do with you, if you are your nations. All right, this is a myth, it's so like his uh, Act 17 and 26 says, And he have made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on, the, uh, on all the face of the earth, and have de determined the times before appointed. If all nations you had your rulership, the Hamites you ruled yourself, you got conquered by Esau eventually. You still fucked up until this day. Alright? Israel, we came, we ruled, we fucked up, we, we, we disobeyed Heaven Father's word. We got fucked up. We got, we got, yeah, we still fucked up until this day. We're yet to stay in, in our captivity. Esau, you ruling right now. The Greeks fell. Okay? And the Japhites, the original Greeks, the Japhites, uh, they fell. The Ishmaelites, they ruled, they fell. All nations, the Moabites, the Ammonites, they fell. All nations ruled at that time. A time, uh, what, determined. But now, Esau, you're ruling, and you're about to go down. And we're about to, uh, we're ushering in the kingdom of heaven. But, uh, but the gospel of, of uh, the preaching of the cross of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the true gospel, the true good news, okay, the true gospel pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, okay. This is uh, Acts 17 and 26. And he have made of one blood all nations of, of men to dwell upon the face of the earth and have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of the habitation, the limitations. He made a separation between nations. We're not the same. Uh, that's why the Lord says, but well, we're not supposed to, what, to be mixing with these nations. Okay, this is a book of Deuteronomy 30. 
Where is that? Deuteronomy 29. Let's go to 32. It's Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 32. Alright, Deuteronomy 32. Verse 8 says, When says when the most high divided the nations with their inheritance when he separated the sons of adam he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of israel so whatever portions the nations had it was in accordance to what proportion the israelites had to get first and the israelite got what got the best of the land okay the middle east over there the land of israel of which the true israelites are not even in that land that's why the land is so fucked up. That's why there's no peace in that land. Because the true inhabitants of the land are not in there. Okay? It says Deuteronomy 32 verse 8 says, When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he made the way he separated them. They were never meant to be, to be what? To be, uh, to be all mixed up. Going back to the Tower of Babel. Okay, what happened? The Musa confounded the languages and divided the nations. Nations are not supposed to be mixing. He made each and every single nation to be unique and different from one another. And the best of all nations is who is the 12 tribes, the Yashar Allah. Okay. This is uh, verse 30. Verse, verse, verse 9 to the Deuteronomy 32, verse 9 says, The Lord's portion is his people. Who? The Lord's portion. His portion, the way by where he dwells, the nation that he loves above all. It says, it says, For the Lord's portion is his people. He has his own people, doesn't have, he, he does not rule and, and, uh, and he reside okay, in all nations, but he reside only in Zion to the book of Ezra, okay, it says, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the Lord of his inheritance. Okay, that's where the Lord is. That's who the Heavenly Father is dealing with. Okay, that's who the Heavenly Father is dealing with. And none else. Simple as that. Okay, let's get a revelation, close over Revelation 11 and 1. And this is what's going to happen in, in the kingdoms of Revelation 11, 1 and 2. Okay, this is Revelation 11 and 1 says, And there was given uh, me a reed unto, unto a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. It says, What is that the measuring stick? Uh, the measuring stick. Okay, the reed like unto a rod, the Holy Scriptures. Okay, these scriptures, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that has been imparted unto the nation of, of Israel, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites only. Okay, and none else, as it says in Joel the third chapter, verse 27, I believe it, that it shall be known that the Lord dwells and resides in none else but in Jacob. Okay, in fact, let me go to that. It's the book of Joel. Let's get that. Okay, Joel 3 and 27. Was it 2 and 27? Joel 2 Yep, this is Joel 2 and verse 27 says and ye shall know that I am the Lord in the that, and ye shall know that I am the that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God all right, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. All right, that's going towards the time of what of us being delivered, the time of where we're going to be redeemed from from among men. Revelation the seventh chapter tells you it's going to be saved, twelve thousand out of each tribe of the nation of Israel, and and the and the great multitude who have been scattered among the nations, and the rest of those who already ordained unto salvation of the Israelite stock. Okay, across the four winds. It says Joel 2 and 27, ye shall know that I am the Lord, that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. He is not the God of the whole nations, okay, but the God of Israel and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Okay, going back to uh, Revelation 11 and 1 says, And there was given to me a reed like unto a rod, and the 
and the angel stood saying rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship them and who are these that worship the Israelites it says but the court that which is without the temple live out and measure it not it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall be trodden underfoot it says for four for forty and two months all right says measure it now it says the, the one that is without the court just measure it now because what was is given unto the gentiles the most have made two two laws okay one for the children of israel and and another for 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 the nations for the heathens all praises unto yahweh hashem yahshua hashem those who are amending their ways okay presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice okay for the gathering of the saints of the of yahweh hashem yahshua calling unto the saints of the Yahab Hashim Hashal, the elect, okay, not for the whole nation. Uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, and your descendants have been scattered among these nations. The Most High has come to redeem, okay, to redeem his elect. Shalom.